Yes, you read the title correctly. This V8 engine only has two connecting rods. Now in my brain, using one connecting rod for four pistons sounds insane. But is it? Dieter Hartmann, a German engineer, thinks not. This V8 engine is his brainchild. Now he has been working on this engine for a while and it seems like the project is finished. Now when it comes to motorcycles there are many different engine configurations and manufacturers have really built some interesting stuff. I mean Norton built some rotary powered motorcycles. You get the Hayes M1030 which was a motorcycle designed to run on almost anything from diesel to jet fuel. And then you get turbine powered motorcycles. But I feel like this is definitely the weirdest motorcycle engine out there. Now Hartmann used the crankshaft out of a 900SS Dugatti, which is a 904cc V twin motorcycle. Now the pistons themselves have a 56mm bore and 44mm stroke, which gives us a displacement of 868cc. Now a V8 motorcycle isn't that weird, there are a few out there, but running a V8 on a V twin crank, that's pretty weird and calls for some interesting engineering solutions. Ok so we have his patent for the engine and from the drawing we can see that two of the pistons are connected via a solid connecting rod while the other two are connected via a pivoting rod. Now here is a video illustration of how it works. Combustion happens here which moves the pistons down then these come up and the combustion happens again pushing them down. Now here's the thing and maybe I'm dumb but aren't you sort of working against yourself with this design? This seems like a super over engineered weight to make an engine. A V twin would have way less moving parts, less stuff that could go wrong and I think a proper V twin would make more power and torque. Now this engine has yet to be dynoed in a working motorcycle but it is said to generate around 80 horsepower or about the same as Dugatti's original 900 SS V twin setup. He did however fire it up and here is a clip for you guys so you can hear how it sounds. Now this whole setup is mounted in a 900SS chassis and it fits perfectly. Now everywhere I read up on this motorcycle everybody was like it's great when people further the technology and and and. And don't get me wrong I agree we should spend more time furthering the internal combustion engine but is this really a step up? Yes it's really cool and super impressive that this dude actually built it. There is no doubt in my mind that he is smart but I wouldn't call this furthering the technology. It's over engineering and let's be honest kind of pointless. It doesn't make more power and there is so much that can go wrong. Then if something does go wrong and you take it to a mechanic you might just break his brain. All of that said I applaud the engineer. Building your own engine and using your own technology is awesome and a dream most people would never achieve. But let me know what you think. Do you guys think that this is a step up for the combustion engine? More than that how long do you think that that intricate connecting rod setup will last and would you like to hear on the road because I would it would be quite an interesting thing to see and hear. Anyways if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel I've got many more videos on anything car and motorcycle related I love making videos on engines and even future technology that might power our automotive world of tomorrow. Now like I said if you like this video leave a like and subscribe to the channel I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.